In this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert numbers between decimal, binary, hexadecimal and octal using your Casio ClassWiz calculator. So all these different base end calculations that you can do. So what we're going to do first is put it into the correct mode. So we have to press menu and then navigate to option three where it says base end. So this will let you do all the different number bases. Instantly it goes to decimal, it defaults to decimal. Now that you're in base N, all of these blue buttons here will now be accessible. So if you press hex, this is for entering a number in hexadecimal, for bin, that's entering in binary, and then for octal, you enter in octal. So let's do a work example. We want to find the number 25 in hexadecimal, in binary, and in octal. So we've got an initial value in decimal, so we have to choose DEC, so the decimal function. So it's now expecting an input in decimal. So we're going to press 25 and then you must press equals to save it to the calculator's memory. So it's going to do calculations on this number 25. And we can just go through and convert it into all of the different ones that the question asks for. So we can press hex and that will present it in hexadecimal. Again, it's 25 is taken in decimal. That's it in hexadecimal. Just ignore all of the zeros. We can then do it in binary and it gives you a huge long um, answer, but you just ignore all of the zeros at start, and the answer would be that 11001. Then we could do octal, just pressing the oct button, and then that lets us take in the octal answer. And so that's how you do the conversion. So you can now convert between any of the different numbers. Let's say, for example, you wanted to enter a number in octal you would just make sure it says oct. If you wanted to enter it in hexadecimal, you'd make sure it says hex. So say we enter 19, press equals, and then choose the decimal function, we get 25. So make sure you're paying attention to what it says at the top, because that's keeping track of what your entry numbers are and what values you're getting out. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was helpful, you can now convert between all those different bases. Please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.